Welcome to the new video tutorial guys. This is me Ron and in this video tutorial I am gonna show you how to create a login form in ESP.NET using SQL Server 2014 and Visual Studio 2015. Now let's start. First of all open the Visual Studio and then go to file and then click on new and then click on websites now select esp.net empty websites and then click on ok now right click in the solution explorer and click on the add and then click on add new item Click select the waveform and then click OK. Now go to design and you can write login form. You can make it bold and then font size so large Then you can select the color from there. There you go. Now click on table, insert table. Three rows and then two columns. Now write username and then password. Then go to toolbox, drag to text box and draw here. And drag on button and drop over here. Change the text to login. Now open the SQL Server and create on database. Go to that database and create one table having the field username and password. Data type bear card. Let that then save the table and then insert username and password. I'm using in uh, I'm inserting username as wrong and password is one two three. Now simply close this and then go back to the Visual Studio. And then right click on the data connection, it connection. Select the data source, uh, data source is Microsoft SQL Server, 
and select the server name basically the server name is your computer name it takes some time and select your database name and click ok now go to the go to the web.config file and you have to write the connection string over here Add name is equal to tv connection connection string is equal to uh, click on the database that you have connected to the visual studio now select that database and go to the property under the connection tab there you can see the connection string copy that connection string and paste over here now save this file go to the yes design form now change the variable name to the txt user and txt path i already change and double click on the login and you have to include some name space here data using System dot data dot SQL client using system dot web dot configuration. The login form in ESP.NET is little bit slightly different than in C sub here. We have to write the connection string in the web.config file and connect that file from this code. The string connection string is equal to configuration manager that connection string. I'll go to the name this name db connection dot connection string SQL connection con is equal to new SQL connection here goes the connection the string is parameter now try con dot open sql command cmd equal to new sql command inside to fire in this here goes the sql query select all from count all from your table name ASP new where username is equal to two single quotes inside two single quotes two double quotes inside two double quotes two plus inside two plus txt user dot text and password is equal to same for password as well txt pass dot text
এখন এসকিউএল ডেটা অ্যাডাপ্টার এসডিএ ইজ इक्वल टू নিউ এসকিউএল ডেটা অ্যাডাপ্টার ইনসাইড দ্য প্যারামিটার দ্য প্যারামিটার গুড সিএমডি নো এস data table dt equal to new data table sta dot fill dt the data table the data editor is filled with the data table that means that sql that means the table that we have created in the sql server now execute the sql query if there is value of stored in the database response the right Fit. Copy this code. else loading login now catch the exception we will paste that code ax dot message save then run the file Now enter the username and password here. This login. It says you're in login. It means username and password do not match. If you enter the username and password that you have stored in your database, it says login in error. what we have stored in your zone one to three we forget to write this Don't forget to write if dt dot root dot two string is equal to one. Now enter correct username and password. It must be successful. Successful in login. There you go. If you enter wrong username and password, it's in login. Now, if you want to create a website. 
that when you click on the login button new web page should appear now start the program right click on the solution explorer add a new item web form add now you have to write the code over here A response dot redirect file sign plus default to dot ASCX. Then run your project again. Hit that. There you go. The we go to the new. Pages. Thank you guys for watching this video. If you think this video helps you in some extent, please don't forget to subscribe my channel, share and like this video. See you in the next video tutorial.